Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. It's not very happy for me. It is Monday. I'm doing this at the butt end of morning, and I'm recording on borrowed time because my laptop's power cord has failed once again, and it turns out my desktop is not powerful enough to run OBS, so there go my hopes of being a streamer. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Order of the Stick here by Vadsky. It's Durkon the Cleric. He, for whatever reason, is going to be fighting at Mythos. Fighting alongside Durkon our Rhyth the Cosmic Inventor, a new variant for Vanish called Tomb of Thieves, and Skyscraper. I'll be fighting in Sen's Fortress because there's no way that's a bad idea. Alright, Mythos starts with Dangerous Investigation. We activate red, green, and blue effects that match the icon on top of the villain deck. If it's red, he's immune to damage. And at the end of the villain turn, if it's blue, we play the top card of the villain turn to add a token to this card. Okie dokie, here we go key. And hey, that's blue, so... Hallucinated Horror, oh boy. We can play up to five cards on the top of the villain deck. He's gonna hit a bunch of people for damage if we don't, but we're not gonna play any, and then we'll go ahead and play the top card of the villain deck for a token. Torn Page, ooh, let's see, the first time hero card enters play each turn, this card deals that hero two infernal and two psychic damage, wow. All right, Mythos deals the X hero tarts the highest HP, three infernal damage each, because H minus number of villain cards the players chose to play this turn. So technically that's three, because we did choose to play one, so everyone but writhe. And the villain turns card deals each hero target two sonic damage. We'll destroy that when a hero takes damage from another hero target. Okay. Oh, here we go. I'm going to play Unnerving Target. The Torn Page hits him for two infernal damage, and then it hits itself for two damage and takes itself out. So that worked out pretty well. He is going to use his power on himself and draw three cards. Start with Flash Recon. Feel the top card of each deck, replace it, select the deck, and puts the top card into play. We'll probably play Durkons. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and play the Dendrophobia. Reduce damage dealt to Durkon by environment cards by one. Increase damage dealt by Durkon to environment targets by one. He doesn't like the environment. Her power is Instinctive Teleport. The next time Vanish is dealt damage, draw or play a card and tap that to show that it's active. I need to start doing that more often. Let's go ahead and catch a ride. Uh, we'll have Durkon hit Mythos for two. Hit him for two more. You know, I could actually get rid of the Hallucinated Horror. Okay, uh, using her power, I'll play Compulsion Canister on Writhe. He'll soak the hit to himself, and then he'll hit, I guess, Skyscraper, and we get rid of that. Draw a card. Durkhan is going to play Control Weather. Environment cards cannot be played. At the start of your turn, Durkhan deals each non-hero target two sonic damage, then destroy this card. So I saw what's at the top of Sen's Fortress, and I would rather it just not come into play. His power is Hammer of Thor. Durkhan deals a target two melee damage. We'll hit Mythos, because he's not immune. Draw a card. Sen's Fortress skips. Mythos plays Whispers and Lies. End of turn, we are not going to play any cards because we've got another blue one, so let's play that. Get a token. Revelations, Mythos regains 4 HP for each environment card in play. Cool. We have two cards in the villain trash at the bottom of the villain deck. Well, there's only two. Next card is blue, so reduce damage dealt by hero targets by one until the start of the villain turn. Okay, and then Mythos hits the three highest for three each. That's everyone but Writhe again. Oh, hey, that sets off her power. I'm going to draw a card because she's got, like, two cards in hand. <laughs> the villain turn, the villain target lowest HP deals hero target highest HP to sonic damage. That is Durkhan. Oh, uh, we do not gain the power. Okay, let's go ahead and just unquiet night and get rid of that. And then he will continue to use the power on himself, draw three cards. Vanish is going to blink. Draw a card, play a card, use a power. Play elusive and use that. Reduce the next damage dealt to her by one. Draw a card or play a card now. I'm going to draw a card because all I got is abduct and abandon. And then we'll use her base power and draw one more card. Let's go ahead and do linking incursion. Oh, hey, all right. Well... Not completely all right. A rebounding Debilitator on Mythos, Neutralizing Resonator also on Mythos, discards the top card. Yeah, and now he's immune to damage. Oops. For her power, she'll pull the Compulsion Canister back and draw a card. All right, start of his turn, Durkhan deals no damage, unfortunately, destroys that card. I think he will cure Assorted Wounds. One target regains three HP, will heal Vanish, because she actually wants to get hit. He may draw a card or play a card. I'm going to play Hammer of Thunderbolts. Whenever Durkhan deals melee damage to a target with his innate power, he also deals that target two lightning damage. But unfortunately, I have to skip his power because Mythos is immune to damage. Draw a card. Alright, Sin's Fortress doing some crap. Pendulum Blades. At the end of each hero's turn, if that hero played two or more cards or used two or more powers that turn, this card deals that hero three melee damage. 
If they played no cards and used no cards, destroy this card. That won't probably happen too much. All right, if this wears off. Mythos is playing Faithful Proselyte. All right, so now we gotta play some cards. Three cards off the top of his deck. Another Faithful, faithful Proselyte. Prey upon the mind, destroy two hero ongoing cards. I'll drop Elusive and Unnerving Target. Nothing else happens there. And a Clockwork Revenant. Ooh, it's a nasty one. All right, and then we play the top card. Rusted Artifact, increase damage dealt to hero targets by one. It gets a token, one more, and he'll flip. His card deals a hero target with second highest HP, three lightning damage, that's Durkhan. And then that's Vanish, who takes two and activates her power. All right, that was extra damage there. I will duck and abandon the Rusted Artifact. That's cool, because I can control the villain deck that way. That means there will be at least one card to play. All oh, right, and we played three cards, so he should be dealing the highest, yeah, four infernal damage. And then Clockwork Revenant deals here to the highest HP, two melee damage. That's still Skyscraper. Okay. Oh wait, except he didn't hit her because rebounding debilitator. Hooray. All right, it's time for Skiamaki. I'm gonna hit the, have the Proselyte hit himself. It's still in play, I can play an ongoing or equipment card. Let's do Umbral Siphon. And then I get the Shadow Cloak, yay. Finally. I'll go ahead and Umbral Siphon and take out that Proselyte. Draw a card. I play Jaunting Reflex. Activate her power, draw a card. I am going to play Proportionist. And with her power, we'll do Compulsion Canister on Mythos himself and the other proselyte and micro assembler on vanish that would be cool draw a card Dirk Hunt will play wall of stone on skyscraper play this card in any play area whenever a card in that play area would deal damage or be dealt damage by a card outside of that play area redirect that damage to this card oh i haven't been checking for the pendulums she should have taken three melee damage because she's not dealing damage right now so that's cool. And then he will use his base power, and with the Hammer of Thunderbolts, take out the Proselyte. Draw a card. Alright, Sun's Fortress plays Boulder Control Room. This card is play, play the top card of the environment deck. Each hero has access to a power to destroy Rolling Boulder. Massive Firebomb. This card is play a Firebomb Giant is in play. It's not, so we search for Firebomb Giant and put it into play. Alright, in the environment turn, destroy that card. Firebomb Giant hits the hero with the highest for two melee damage. That's actually anybody. I'm gonna have that be Vanish. Use her power to play a card, play Concussive Burst, and then Jaunting Reflex goes off. A hero target was dealt damage by a non-hero target, so I can discard a card and use a power. I'm gonna use Micro Assembler, which means I have to discard one more card, but that will get me the Translocation Accelerator. Okay, cool. All right, Mythos, what you got? Oh yeah, he's got a Rusted Artifact. <laughs> We knew that. All right, end of turn. We're not gonna play any cards, and then we will play the top card of the deck, which gets us a token. This goes into play Ritual Sight. Increase damage dealt by environment cards to hero targets by one. Okay, exactly what we need. And now there are four tokens on Dangerous Investigation, so he flips. Remove it from the game. So let's see, red is reduced damage dealt to villain targets by one. Uh, the end of the villain turn, the players may play the top card of the villain deck. Then on blue, play the top card of the villain deck, Green Mythos deals each hero target each infernal damage. Yeah, no, we're fine. Increased damage dealt by this card by X, where X is 10 minus its current HP. Well, it's a good thing we didn't deal any damage to it. That's going to hit Skyscraper, gets redirected to the Wall of Stone. And that's it. we do Darkly Dreaming. All right, deals each non-hero target two infernal damage. Three, reduced to two against those, but that's cool. I can get the Shadow Cloak back next round. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and destroy that for the extra damage. So they all deal themselves two psychic damage, which for the villain targets is just one, but that's fine. And then I'll use Umbral Siphon on the one thing I can actually hurt with it. Draw a card. Oh, shoot, I wanted to do Johnny Reflex last turn. Discard a card, use the power on it to destroy the card and draw two cards. I'm going to play Forewarned. I think I could stand to use that next round. We'll use her power, and then she deals a target one energy damage, hit the Firebomb Giant, reduce its damage by one. Draw a card. This would be a great time for Colossal Left Hook, except she can't deal damage. It might still be a good time for Colossal Left Hook. Yeah, let's do it. Colossal Left Hook, get big. She'll bust down the Wall of Stone, which, I mean, it took a hit for her. That's not bad. Won't discard anything, but then she's doing full two damage to the villain targets. Three to that guy, one to everybody else. Vanish's power goes off, and she will play real attempt to do Tactical Relocation, but that's a lot of damage. Actually, yeah, that's worth doing. Tactical Relocation. So she's going to hit everybody, I think. Yeah, she's going to hit everybody for three, because that means Writhe can get the Shadow Cloak back immediately. That's totally worth it. Uh, she'll take Jaunting Reflex. Let's throw Rebounding Debilitator on the Clockwork Revenant, since we're not going to be taking it out. 
and Durkhan will take control weather, so that will be extra damage. Awesome. Draw a card. Speaking of which, he deals each non-hero target to sonic damage. Villain targets take one, but he does three to the fire giant. Almost killed it. Let's go ahead and cure assorted wounds, because we need it. He'll vanish. Draw a card or play a card. So close. Can't do that. All right, that's not going to work, so we'll draw. And then, oh, I think it would be, let's see, he's only going to be doing two damage. Do I want to drop the firebomb giant or do two damage to Mythos? I guess I should drop the giant. Draw a card. Yeah, pendulum blades did not go off this round. Since Fortress plays Man Serpent, this card deals the hero target with the second highest HP, three melee damage. We'll send that to Durkhan, who only takes two. Well, no, he takes three because of the ritual sight, but he only takes three. Okay, Mythos plays Otherworldly Alignment, and the villain turn bunch of stuff happens. Yeah, we're not going to play any cards. Clockwork Revenant goes off, and Rebounding Debilitator stops it, because this is still red. Mythos deals the hero target with the highest HP, four infernal damage. Let's vanish. You discard a card and use a power. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I can discard all of my cards. So she'll discard a card to use Micro Assembler again. We'll get the Focusing Gauntlet out, and that'll be great. I was off Johnny Reef. Okay, what am I going to do with my tons of new stuff? Let's see, this will go away on Skyscraper's turn. I think I'm going to Unquiet Night and drop Pendulum Blades. And then I can draw a card or play a card. Let's do Lurking Shadows. Draw a card. I'll select Mythos. Increase damage dealt by Ride the Him by 1 till the start of my turn. Use a power. I'll hit him for 2 and 2. And then, let's see. I'll use his power on Skyscraper. And draw 3 cards. Okay, start of turn. Forewarned. All players draw till they have 3 cards in hand. That was really worth it. I never get that to go off. I'm so happy. I'm going to play Blindside Jump. And, yeah, let's go ahead and use that on the Clockwork Revenant because that needs to go... Hit that for one energy damage. So it actually gets through. Increased damage taken by it by one. And then she hits it for two energy damage. Sweet. Draw a card. All right, start of her turn. We will destroy Otherworldly Alignment and Neutralizing Resonator. She's going to play Colossal Left Hook and smack Mythos for two. And then she'll use her power. Takes out the Clockwork Revenant. That's the snake for three. And then everybody takes one except for her and Writhe. Draw a card. Let's play the Endless Beer Tankard. Each hero has access to this power. Draw a card or regain 2 HP. Durkhan regains 1 HP. Not going to use that though. We're going to go ahead and use his base power because he can hit this for 1 melee and 1 lightning damage. Take out the ritual site. Draw a card. Since Fortress plays Rolling Boulder, hey, there it is. At the end of each turn, this card deals each target in that turn's play area 3 melee damage. So, Writhe can probably take care of that. Man Serpent goes after the hero target, the second highest. Oh, we'll say that Skyscraper who is immune. Mythos. Oh, hey, they're not taking less damage now, although he's going to be dealing damage. Prey upon the mind, destroy two here ongoing cards. Let's get rid of Proportionist and Concussive Burst, because I've got another one. Each player discards a card. Hmm. And if turn, Mythos deals each hero target four infernal damage. Kind of okay with this. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with this. Durkhan gets hit, Vanish is going to Jaunting Reflex. Probably just use the power on it. Draw two cards, discard it, and then she'll hit Mythos for two. A skyscraper is immune. Writhe will discard to avoid the damage. Okay, actually not doing too badly. Cool. I'm going to Grasping Shadow Cloak, Proselyte on the bottom of the villain deck, destroy the Shadow Cloak, and now he can't play cards. Power, I'll use the Boulder Control Room, get rid of Rolling Boulder, draw a card. All right, Vanish is going to put Concussive Burst back out, and then she will use Blindside Jump, hit him for two energy damage. Increased damage he takes by one, reduced damage he deals by one. We're going to completely shut him down this round. And then she hits him for two, three. Draw a card. Let's see what's under that. Also green. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm going to play Neutralizing Resonator. Discard that top card. That was another Whispers and Lies. Okay. And then she'll do her thing, hitting nobody else. Draw a card. A heck with it. Let's commune with Thor. Draw up to three cards, you may play a spell. I'll play Cure Assorted Wounds. He will heal himself. Draw a card or play a card. I'll play this Holy Word. Destroy each villain target with three or fewer HP. Well, there aren't any. But then he deals each villain target two radiant damage, so that's cool. Hit him for three. That worked out pretty good. And then he will use his base power. Deal him three melee damage and three lightning damage. Draw a card. I think we've got this in the bag. <laughs> Sends Fortress plays Massive Firebomb. All right. Man Serpent goes after the second highest. Okay, that'll be Skyscraper. Destroy Massive Firebomb. Firebomb Giant hits the highest for two. That's Writhe. Okay. Mythos can't play cards. Uh, then we can play the top card of the villain deck, except that we can't. Then he deals each hero target H Infernal damage, but it's only three. I think that's reasonable. 
All right, Grasping Shadow Cloth gets shuffled into his deck. That's okay, because I have a Fight and Fade. Deal target two, three Infernal Damage. Get the Cloak back, and he can play a card, so... Uh, sorry, Durkhan, I don't think you're finishing this. Play Erratic Form, and yeah, with his power, he does three and three to Mythos, and we win. Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> and I'm not out of laptop power yet. It's only down to 51%. Jeez. Okay, that was fun. Let's take a look at the rest of Durkhan's deck. Hold Person. Play this card next to a non-character target. That target cannot deal damage. At the start of your turn, you either discard a card or destroy this card. Dispel Magic. Destroy an ongoing card. Spontaneous Healer. At the end of your turn, you may discard a spell card. If you do, one target regains three hit points. That's good because a lot of his spells are actually situational. So, you know, I could trade those Holy Words or Hold Persons for HP. Full plate armor, reduce damage dealt to Durkhan by one. Drinking buddy, you and one other player draw up to three cards. Durkhan and one here in that player's play area deals themselves one irreducible toxic damage. Thor's might, increase melee damage dealt by Durkhan by two. At the start of your turn, either discard a card or destroy this card. That's pretty awesome. Thor's lightning, Durkhan deals a target three lightning damage. You may destroy a non-target environment card. Could have used that. Shield bash, Durkhan deals a target two melee damage. Reduce damage dealt by a target dealt damage this way by two until the start of your next turn. Reverse corruption, Durkhan deals the villain target X psychic damage, where X is Durkhan's maximum HP minus his current HP. Immediately end your turn and remove this card from the game. That's pretty good. And that's it. So he's a very solid tanky damage dealer with a good bit of healing at his disposal and a few other useful effects. This Vanish actually turned out to be pretty awesome for all that her power is exactly the same as one of her other cards. But yeah, that actually helped her set up and keep up with her massive discard. So that's all for this one. As always, Thanks for watching. Tabletop Simulator, the Reaver Sentinels Cauldron DLC, and Fat Sky's Custom Sentinels mod are not licensed to create the game's products. Please support the official release and flip.